Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, I will be discussing marriage indicator aspects in astrology. Just keep in mind that I have simplified some of the concepts and understand that there's more complexities to this and that there could be some more in addition to this. However, to keep this video short, I have just focused on just a few of them and I've simplified the concepts as well. So before we get into it, I just want to remind you guys to please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and if you do like the video please do hit the like button and share the video if you can because that also helps the channel so without further ado let's get into this okay so these few significant marriage indicators that i'll be talking about in this video are based on the findings that were found from a research study that was conducted among married couples and i will link that research article down in the description box below in case you would like to read further about the study and the results and the findings and the people that conducted the study as well. So a study conducted by Astro Investigators found that the prominent sun aspect that usually indicated marriage between partners was one in which one partner's sun formed a sextile to the other partner's Jupiter. This is an aspect that's commonly seen between a wife and a husband. Another couple that has this is Jay-Z and Beyonce. Jay-Z has a Sagittarius Sun and Beyonce's Jupiter is in the sign of Libra. So this is also a sextile between his Sun and her Jupiter. Just a few more examples to illustrate this marriage indicator could be if a woman's Sun is in the sign of Taurus then the man's Jupiter would have to be in the sign of Cancer. If a woman's sun was in the sign of Gemini, then the man's Jupiter would have to be in the sign of Leo. And if a woman's sun was in the sign of Cancer, then the man's Jupiter would have to be in the sign of Virgo, and so on. These are just some examples of someone's sun sextiling the partner's Jupiter. In astrology, it is commonly believed that Jupiter represents the husband. And then in addition to this, the sextile is considered to be a very positive aspect. The sextile occurs between signs that are 60 degrees apart. And on the chart, the sextiles are depicted by the blue lines. It is what most astrologers refer to as being an easy aspect, just because sextiles tend to create harmony and not too much drama. Commonly, we see them occur between um, fire and air signs or between earth and water signs. So just for example, um, in the case of the sextile between Aries and Gemini, this is the sort of sextile that's characterized by a spirit of playfulness and just always having a desire to keep things fresh and find new things to do together. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt had this, um, had this aspect in their sinistry charts. Um, Angelina Jolie is a Gemini sun, while Brad Pitt has his Jupiter in the sign of Aries. Okay, so let's move on to another marriage indicator that the study revealed. This marriage indicator was in the case of where a woman's Juno formed a sextile to her husband's Juno. Juno is a very important marriage indicator for both men and women. 
Juno is an asteroid in astrology that is often considered and associated with marriage and commitments in astrology. According to ancient Greek mythology, Juno was the wife of Zeus, also known as Jupiter. Remember earlier in the video I said that Jupiter represented the husband in astrology? Juno was notoriously remembered and known for her undying loyalty to her husband. Her feminine energy contributes greatly in the pairing and the matching of soulmates. And so, because of this, it's easy to see why she is such an important factor when it comes to marriage indicators and commitments in astrology. So, an example of a woman's Juno sextiling a man's Juno could be if a woman's Juno was in the sign of Virgo, then her husband's Juno would be in the sign of Scorpio. Another example could be if a woman's Juno was in the sign of Sagittarius, then her husband's Juno would be in the sign of Aquarius, and so on. Actually, Jay-Z and Beyonce have this um, aspect as well. Beyonce's Juno is in the sign of Scorpio, and Jay-Z's Juno is in the sign of Capricorn. Okay, so let's look at another um, marriage indicator that was pointed out by the study. This is in the case where a husband's Juno is conjunct his wife's Juno. A conjunction is formed when two planets are zero degrees apart and they are positioned together in the same sign. Um, in the case of this marriage indicator, what we would see is that the husband's Juno would be in the same sign as the wife's Juno. In astrology, conjunctions are considered to be very powerful aspects because they tend to really intensify the sign that they are in. So for example, let's say the husband had his Juno in Taurus, then the wife's Juno would also have to be in Taurus. So let's look at another significant marriage indicator that was pointed out in the study. This is when a man's vertex is conjunct his wife's north node. In astrology, vertex is a very important astrological point in the chart. So vertex can be regarded or seen as being pretty important or useful when it comes to um, marriage indicators or revealing long-term commitments. This is because vertex generally is known to reveal fated soulmate connections. Vertex is very karmic and having it positioned right next to someone else's north node can really activate its powers. The North Node in astrology is an important node in the charts that shows one's destiny. Um, it shows where one is, is really where one is headed in this lifetime. The North Node can reveal a lot about a person's soul journey. And so having a person's north node positioned or conjunct another person's vertex can only further emphasize the potential for a fated soulmate connection. Okay, so finally, let's do one more marriage indicator from the study. So another marriage indicator is having a woman's moon sextile her husband's Sun. The moon, of course, is very important because it is associated with emotions, nurturing and um, vulnerability, security, you know, and bonding and detachment and just, you know, an emotional connection.
The sun obviously typically tends to be representative of the ego or the conscious self or the self-identified self. <laughs> so it is not uncommon that in society men tend to be associated a lot more with their ego side, you know, while women are more um, viewed as being more nurturing and they also are they tend to be more comfortable with their emotions so what we could say is that men are more comfortable with their sun side and women would be depicted as being more comfortable with their moon side and of course this doesn't always have to be the case but this is just generalizing you know generally how things are depicted in society it, um, it can be very beneficial for a marriage if a woman's um, moon side or her emotional side form, forms a harmonious aspect to her man's sun side or his ego. Just because this can help in terms of creating a more, a lot more, a little bit more harmony within the relationship and some balance, I guess, in the relationship. Anyway, that does it for this video where we discussed and talked about just a few of some of the marriage indicator aspects in astrology. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that if you did like the video, please be sure to hit that like button and also be sure to leave a comment down below. We love to hear from you and let us know if you have any of these aspects with your spouse or your, your future potential spouse. <laughs> let us know. And um, please do also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And share the video if you can because that also helps the channel. Anyway, have a good one guys. Bye.